Let's go. This is for Gemini. All right, let's see. So we have to see your drama clearly is to be liberated from it. So there's some drama that you've created or that you're in it and you can see it clearly now. So in order to get out of it, you need to see it clearly and understand what your contribution to it is, okay? So that way you won't be giving any more drama. I'm gonna turn on the light because I can't really see, but then I'm gonna turn it off because then it glares. So bear with me whenever there's an adjustment to the And you have liberation, breaking free from negative attachment, absolutely. Goes along with your uh, fortune cookie, I love it. I love spirit. You've also been awoken in terms of some sort of like um, illumination, okay, that you've had that spirit has sent. Also your crown chakra is open and so is your solar plexus. There's going to be some communication coming in, possibly a suitor as well that's coming in. All right. Possibly going out for a date or drinking. Yeah, you put an end to something. You might be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Okay, someone that smokes. They're coming or you put an end to this person, or the person that's coming is a Scorpio. You might be putting an end to something and then someone's coming, all right? Or that same person is coming. I don't feel that that same person is coming. As, as, the, as, as you drop and put an end to the, Scor to the Scorpio or to the toxic relationship or whatever it is that you're liberating yourself from the drama or, the letting, or whoever you're letting go, then another person comes in, okay? Letting go, yeah, you're ready. You're absolutely releasing. And then potential, think big for your future. Make a wish. You're divinely protected, divinely guided, okay? There will be a relationship that will be coming in that's gonna transform you and you're gonna transform this person. There's an open path, lots of prosperity, lots of money coming in, a uh, huge transformation at work, okay? Yeah, no place like home. There might be some property coming in and or possibly a new home. And then um, I think you're letting go of feeling uh, orphaned or feeling sad or feeling alone. There's huge changes with that. And then you have thinking, man, yeah, there's someone that's thinking about you, possibly this person that you let go. They might be coming back for a reconciliation, but this is an ending of a cycle and there's a beginning of a new one, okay? You've put this cycle to rest. <clears throat> this person is getting a lot of intuitive hits, all right? They're leveling up. Huh. Pretty interesting. You also are getting a lot of confirmations through birds, seeing a lot of pigeons, which means, you know, divinity, uh, the trinity, which is three, and also divine source, energy, uh, God, okay? Reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. Yep. Know that you're going to be protected. There's a house coming or some sort of property that you've been wishing upon. I think you were engaged with this person or you had... Uh, like a uh, agreement of marriage or, or a higher commitment. And I think you've been, um, I think you, uh, it didn't turn out. I think they, they left or something, but he's coming back. Okay. He might be coming back, but there's also a new person coming back. So be mindful. And this person might come back and thinking about offering you the commitment that you were wanting and possibly marriage. So be ready. Okay. Your choice. There's no good or bad, okay? It's just your choice. Love. I think you love this person tremendously. I think they love you. I just don't think that it's worked out for whatever reason. Mm. Or the new person that's coming in. I think you know this person, okay? 
You're probably at a distance somewhat. This is for Gemini. Help me grow my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. You're coming into full alignment. Yeah, water under the bridge. Uh, there's going to be a mending of this relationship, okay? Or mending of self. All right, moving forward. You're at a distance. Someone's coming to see you that's at a distance. Twin flame, soul partner, eternal connection. There you, there you go. I don't believe in twin flames as I told you before, but it is a very powerful soulmate connection. But if you believe in twin flames, here it is. So this person is your twin flame. I think they're coming back, all right, to offer you something, a higher commitment. I think you're gonna marry this person. Sovereignty. You're, you know, you're sovereign, so you don't have to worry about it. Your third mm -hmm. eye is really opening up. Uh, crescent moon there's something that is going to happen during the crescent moon which it is let me see give me a minute the 22nd of this month okay 22nd 23rd or the 31st 31st or 30 from the 22nd through the 31st, something's going to happen. This person's going to come and see you. Huh. Yeah, inner core, another pigeon, another dove. Lots of uh, freedom, peace, okay? Mm -hmm. You're at peace, coming together. Lots of collaboration with a lot of people. here time to release negativity full moon and scorpio what did i tell you you're probably dealing with a scorpio all right so that concludes your um oracles let's go on to to your um, um what do you call it tarot grow my channel the only um, tarot reader that does full oracles and full uh, tarot let's see I see marriage I see you married let me know no more waiting for this you put in a lot of work you might have a terrier or Yorkie how beautiful they're coming in for stability it's speeding up they're working on this Okay, no more secrets, no more fear. You might have some cancer in your chart or this person has some cancer or they might be a Taurus, earth sign. There's a lot of, um, lots of turmoil, fighting, okay, and some sort of stability or higher commitment or this person that's coming in is breaking free from a commitment and that was part of the problem yeah they're coming in to make make this right and make this amend amends huge passion for you this was very toxic or they were in a very toxic relationship i feel that this is this person not you they're very cold and detached um i think that their person that they were with or something was only based on money Okay, I think also um, they ghosted you in the past. Yeah, there was some deception of some sort, okay? But you got out of this energy of feeling, uh, you know, uh, left out in the cold. They were very manipulative, but the, uh, 
um, the truth came out. This can also be work, okay? That you might be having issues at work with someone that is a higher power and very manipulative. They're coming, you're moving forward or they're coming, they're coming to you because they don't want you to be single, okay? Or someone here, um, sorry, wait, hold on, give me a minute. They're moving away, sorry, I misread. They're moving away, someone's moving away from options and some sort of like commitment or marriage. Somebody doesn't want you to be single or you don't want to be single or someone's not uh, uh, committed or someone's not stable, okay? I think you're rejecting some choices that have been given to you and you're just walking away. There's going to be an offer from the past, somebody that was indecisive, someone that you consider a soulmate, someone that was very toxic in the past. It was a huge burden. You were expecting an apology and that never came. Somebody was very manipulative. You took your power back. This is also possibly at work. Okay, you retracted your love possibly lived with this person. Possibly had children together. You had to study something that you worked very hard on. You were collaborating. Trying to stabilize this, but it wasn't stable. Very manipulative, possibly a third party situation. Lots of partying, drinking. There wasn't equal give and take, and there wasn't any movement forward. Somebody walked away. Yeah, someone cut someone off, possibly a water sign. It was a no-win situation. Someone's not able to sleep, okay? Turn it off right here. I'm so sorry. It's going to have to adjust. There was a lot of stagnation. Okay. Someone celibate. There was some illumination on the situation that came in. Somebody was very depressed. They felt it was a no-win situation. They were tired of fighting. They were always on the defensive. They're looking into the future. Okay. You're looking into the future. Or somebody was juggling and there was no communication as well. You put your defenses up. Okay, you were on the defensive trying to protect yourself. And it looks like you moved forward or someone got a new car. Yeah, you released this and you put an ending. Or someone did. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune turned. Okay, ending wasn't balanced. Followed your intuition not to pursue this. It was a third party situation. You were very betrayed. You're very stable. Lots of prosperity for you. You're happy now, okay? You have a good house, happy home. They want to reconcile. It was judgment day. Someone's resting or trying to uh, heal, all right, because they're not stable. You retracted your love. You don't feel like this was a, a like there was any hope for this, and you also don't feel like this was a wish fulfillment. Someone moved out. There was a huge tower moment. Huge backstabbing. Okay, possibly from this water sign after you gave a lot of love. You thought that this was a wish fulfillment, but all it did was keep you trapped. You thought it was a happily ever after or you're going for this to a happily ever after with someone that's going to offer lots of stability okay yeah someone possibly that broke off a commitment somewhere else hope this helped gemini love and light